Six, fixing school funding in Texas. Almost everyone involved agrees it is a mess. To understand how to fix it, we have to understand the problem. Rural school districts say the state is not pitching in enough money. Fast-growing suburban districts say they cannot build buildings fast enough to keep up with the influx of students. And big city districts like Austin fork over hundreds of millions of property tax dollars to the state every year. The Texas House called people with problems and people with plans to the Capitol. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a serious problem with our public education system in the state of Texas today. And I'm proud to work with some serious people. Only a handful of people at this, in the state can explain the entire school finance system. KXAN's Phil Prazen spoke today with two of them and their plans to overhaul the system. Right now, law allows each student to take $5,200 to their school district, made up of property taxes and state dollars. It's known as Robin Hood. Rich districts help pay for poor districts. There are some real quirks and nuances to the system that make it very complicated. Joe Wisnowski from the consulting firm Moat Casey and Associates came with a plan for the Texas School Alliance. It would increase the allowed amount by 6%. Property rich districts like Austin could put more money to their schools, but the state would have to pump in an extra $1.5 billion a year to property poor districts. Move it down the road towards modernizing it. Uh, and updating it without creating massive shocks to the different communities around the state. But another plan scraps the idea of each district having its own funding formula. We have just taken the current system and set it off to the side and created a new system. The Equity Center plan takes all the money currently being spent and filters it through one equation. The money following the district students times the local tax rate is how much money the school district will get. Property rich districts with low tax rates will likely be the ones to complain about this plan. Then regardless of the wealth of the district, you, if you have the same tax rate, you earn the same resources. And now the Texas House will have to decide whether to beef up our current system or create a brand new one. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. There is another plan through MALDEF that focuses on increasing the amount of money for minority, poor, and special needs students. Most lawmakers believe this is a multi-year process. Passing any plan will require compromise, and right now that looks unlikely. The head of the Senate, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, says he will not support any school finance bill that does not include school choice. But the chairman of the House Public Education Committee says that is not going to happen. Every year, to start, the state gives public schools around $5,200 taxpayer dollars for each student. With school choice measures, part of those taxpayer dollars could be redirected in the form of school vouchers or an education savings account parents could use to help pay for private, religious, or homeschooling. In an interview with the Texas Tribune today, Houston Representative Dan Huberty says the lack of accountability makes it impossible for him to support school choice. Of this body, I look at it and say, what other department or funding source or article would there be where I just gave you $5,000 and said, good luck? Right. And no accountability, no taxpayer responsibility, nothing else that would be out there. There would be nothing. We, you would hang us up um, from, yeah. from the highest mountain to be able to say this is not acceptable. Supporters of school yeah. choice say the money would go to an accredited private school for approved homeschool materials and all the funds would be audited by the state controller.